So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take 360 photo using DJI Mavic Mini 2 and upload the photo into Google Map or even in Facebook. I'm literally taking out the drone from my pocket as the drone itself is very small and even weighed lesser than 250 grams. But I do not recommend this to anyone to carry the drone in the pocket. It's better to buy a bag so that the drone will be much safer when you travel. Now we are in DJI Fly app as you can see. I'm using screen recording here so that I will be able to show you all the details that I can see while flying with this application. Now on the left hand side down the corner you can see H which is denoting height of the drone from the ground level and D is denoting distance of the drone from its home point. And you can see the speed of the drone as well there. It is showing 28 km per hour which is decent speed for the drone of this size. And we are in normal mode right now. If we switch to sport mode, then we can reach up to like 57, 58 km per hour, depending on the situation and the wind speed. Uh, but we are sticking to normal mode for now. And on the right side of the screen, you can see inside the rectangle, there is a record button. I'm not activating that because uh, my objective is to go to the destination and take 360 photo. And by not recording the video while flying there, I'm preserving some batteries, I believe, and we are very close to our destination. I think less than a minute we will reach there. And you can see a beautiful scenario of uh, Ichangu Narayan area. It is situated at the west of Kathmandu Valley. So uh, on the top side, you can see the battery status there. It is showing like 74% remaining battery. And by the side of that, you can see RC signal and GPS signal as well. And there is a three dot. From there you can uh, go to more settings in this uh, drone. And I have tilted my cam a little bit downside so that I will be able to see what is uh, happening downside of the drone. And finally we have reached our destination. It's uh, Ichangu Temple. Uh, it's a holy place for lots of Hindu religious people especially. And let me take my drone to the side a little bit so that we will be able to see a better view of the temple. And as you can see uh, on the left hand side down the corner we are not very high uh, at the moment it's showing 68 meter so let me take my drone a little bit up so that we will have a much better view of the temple as well as we can keep the drone safer from the surrounding objects so i'm going to uh, take 364 now for that i'm going inside the menu there and choose panel and inside that i'm going to choose sphere so uh, by choosing that you have to press start and uh, now it has started taking photos as you can see in the screen and it will take a while for the drone to take 360 photos as it has to you know take uh, separate separate photos of each angle by tilting and rotating so it will take a while and in the screen you can see inside the rectangle red rectangle uh, i am taking these photos in uh, uh, auto mode you can take these photos in manual also but for this content i'm taking it in auto mode and later after finishing uh, taking these 360 photos we have to import this photo into the dji fly application and uh, within that application we will stitch this photo and the application will itself you know enhance the photo as well like uh, bringing the details in the darkest area as well as bringing the detail back in the brightest area that will be done in the application itself so uh, we have finished uh, taking 360 photo now i'm bringing back my drone uh, but before that let me check if there is something i can take uh, more of the picture here so i'm checking it uh, but i think uh, that's that's it uh, as you can see in the screen it's kind of greenery here it's a rainy season here so it looks beautiful but uh, kind of the light is not that bright because of the uh, gloomy type of day here and now i'm switching to sport mode so that i can bring my drone as quick as possible and in sport mode you can see the speed is rising we can reach the speed of like 56 57 kmph uh, in the sport mode and but unfortunately in the sport mode if you rotate or tilt the camera then the movement will be very harsh it will not be as smooth as in normal mode or cine mode but uh, this speed is very good for the drone of this size and after bringing back my drone i will show the process that we have to do 
to import the photos of the drone into the application and uh, the process of stitching it as well. So once you got your drone back, all you have to do is a long press the quick transfer button which is located at the rear bottom of the drone and connect the drone with the DJI Fly app. It will take a while as you can see in the screen. And once you connect it with it, you have to download the photos that we took, 360 photo, to the application. You can see it's connecting here. And once connected, go to aircraft and then choose the photos that have sphere icon and once you choose that it will start downloading photos and between that it will uh, stitch the photo as well you can see in this screen it's in the process of stitching the image and now the application is about to finish the process of stitching image here you can see in the screen and now once you're done uh, it will look like this it will look like a little planet and the photo has been enhanced as well you can zoom in the photo to look around and to check whether our 360 photo is okay or not. Uh, we have not uploaded this one in uh, Google Map yet. It's within the application. We are just checking if everything is okay. So I'm checking it. So once you're done with uh, checking image, uh, we have to save the image into phone. To do that, we are going to press three dot icon located at the top right corner. And then again, uh, we have to press three dot icon located at the bottom of the screen. As you can see in the screen, I'm saving the image. And after uh, you save this image, it will look like this. And after that, you have to go to a Google Street View application. And with it, within that application, you have to import the photo. To do so, uh, I'm going to profile here and there is a little icon at the bottom of the screen uh, there we have to press and import 360 photo you can see there is an option of importing photo so I'm importing it here this is the 360 photo that I took from the drone so it has been imported here I'm rechecking everything uh, before publishing it as you can see so once you're done with rechecking the image, all you have to do is press the publish icon located at the bottom of the screen. You can see here. So now I'm going to show you how you can view the 360 photo that you have uploaded in Google Map uh, from your laptop or mobile device or even from tablet. To do so, I'm opening up Google Map here and going to satellite view here. As you can see, my mouse is hovering there. Now I'm zooming into the location uh, where I took 360 photo. As you can see in the map, it was Ichongunarain Temple. And once you zoom in there, all you have to do is press in the icon which looks like a human being, like a man, uh, which is located at the bottom right corner. You see there, there is an icon that looks like a silhouet of a man. So I'm pressing there. And once you press there, you will see a blue dot in the map. You can see there. And there, uh, you have to choose uh, the photo that you took. And once you choose that, or click that, you will see the photo that you took with the drone. So, very simple. And there are a few more pictures that I have taken with this drone, uh, 360 images. If you want to find out then you have to click in the name or Zunlama there and you will find uh, more 360 photos uh, taken with this drone. As you can see in the screen, it's a beautiful city of Kathmandu and Ichungu. And now I'm going to show you how you can upload the same 360 photo to your Facebook also. Uh, for that uh, you have to fix your metadata because Facebook will not recognize your 360 photo if you upload directly to Facebook. And to do that, you have to open up one application called uh, ExifFixers that you can download for Windows and Mac uh, for both uh, operating system. You can find it. Just search in Google. You will find it easily. And then once you open that application, you have to drag and drop the photo that you took with the drone into that application. As you can see in this screen, I have drag and dropped. And once you drop your photo, just click in Add Metadata. 
and and once you do that uh, it will be all done and it will be ready for uploading in facebook also so that's all uh, guys for this video thank you for watching